Uh, hello everyone. Uh, good morning. So, hmm. Okay, so from last time natapos na tayo sa simple rotating loop. We're done with in, uh, the induced voltage, the induced torque on a simple rotating loop. Again, I think I want to emphasize this one na for every loop you have uh, for every turn, yeah. For every turn in a loop you have two active conductors, yung A, B and C, D because B, C and D, A are in parallel with the direction of the magnetic field. So, nagiging zero lang yung ating induced voltage and our induced torque. Now, uh, from simple <coughs> from simple rotating loop, uh, let's perform the same analysis on a for loop DC machine. So, it's, it's basically an expansion of your simple rotating loop. It's basically the same as the simple rotating loop pero instead of just a single loop, you now have four loops. So in this case, uh, this is a four loop two pole DC machine. By the way, this is from Chapman. So if you uh, want to read more about uh, these discussions, uh, most of my discussions naman ay nanggaling kay, kay Chapman. Uh, anyways, so in this machine, let's consider four loops. Uh, paano nyo ba identify itong loop na to uh, you have you have one loop that is on that starts here in one and ends in one prime so that is one loop and then from that kung mapapansin nyo you have this loop it ends here and then it's connected to loop 2 and ends here and that is connected to loop 3 and it ends here and that is connected to loop 4 and that is here and that is connected to loop 1 so now you have uh, 4 loops connected with each other they are basically in series naka series yung lahat ng yon and then uh, you start with 1 and then you end by the end of that by the end of the four loops, you end with with one. So uh, that's basically one plex. It's one set of windings. You start with one and then you end with one. That's basically one plex. Okay. Uh, so, mamaya natin pansinin tong ano. Basically, what connects any two loops together? Itong mga to A, B, C, D. Those are your commutators. They are basically the ones that connect your 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 loops. Okay. So let's let's just focus on one loop. Uh, let's just say that this loop, every loop here is just one turn. So ibig sabihin, for every loop, you have two active conductors. You have A, B, and C, D. Ah, uh, no. I, 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 that, not this A, B, and that this C, D. What I meant was this A, B, and this C, D. So for every, for every loop, you have, you have that. Okay. Uh, now, let me just pause for a while. Uh, may hanap lang ako. Uh -huh. Ay. Okay, so, uh, nasan ako? Uh, so, you, you have four loops, and then for each loop, you have one turn, and then for each turn, you have two active conductors, A, B, and C, D. Again, not this A, B, not this A, B, and not this C, D. Okay. Uh, okay. So let's look at one conductor. So basically what we're see seeing here is the cross-section uh, cross section of the loop, cross-section of the machine. Okay, so you're basically seeing, uh, I think, I guess it's the front view. So from here, uh, if you look at the, if you look at the induced voltage, basically, from from before ang alam natin uh, the induced voltage is v cross b dotted to l where this is sine of the uh, angle between v and b okay so if you look at the vol uh, velocity this is rotating this way so uh, at this particular point this conductor has a velocity going that way and that's a magnetic field of this direction so it's basically you have 90 degrees here so it's sine of 90 
And then, uh, by right hand rule, if you use right hand rule, you have a polarity that is going out of the page. So that's the polarity of this of this conductor here that is on conductor 1. It's going out of the page. The positive here is going out of the page. Therefore, that makes this side of 1, the one connected in A, positive. Now, if you look at the end of that loop, at the second conductor, that is 1 prime. So the velocity in this case is going this way. Magnetic field is going that way. So by right hand rule, uh, magnetic field, velocity, it's positive in or negative out. Therefore, the one connected at B is, is negative. So that is the polarity of, 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 one, uh, of 1 and 1 prime. So if you look, if, if you represent them, basically the induced voltage on between 1 and 1 prime on one side the one connect the one closer to 1 you have positive the one connected in a and then negative inside on one prime you have negative out so that is negative connect the one connected in in b and positive so that's basically this uh, the induced voltage that's this is this is the induced voltage between 1 and 1 prime uh, such that their total voltage is 2e that is 2e now you do the same for 2 2 prime 3 3 prime and 4 and 4 prime and then you get this whole this whole figure take note they are all in series such that 1 is in series with 2 and 2 is in series with 3 and 3 is in series with 4 and 4 is in series with 1 such that all of them are in series okay and then between any two loops you have a commutator connecting them so that is between 1 and 2 you have commutator b 2 and 3 commutator c uh, 3 and 4 commutator d 4 and 1 commutator a okay uh yeah okay so this is basically the polarity of this machine the polarity of the coils when it is in this position x actually this is the polarity as long as this 2 and 4 prime 4 and 2 prime are bit are within this within this uh, magnetic field and same for 1 and 3 prime and 3 and 1 prime as long as it is within this okay so that's the polarity such that if you rotate this uh by i guess by 90 and uh, no yeah i guess by 90 degrees so if you rotate this by 90 so this uh -huh. so this part will be here this part will be here this part will be here so what will happen here is just the uh the designations here will just interchange but the polarities are still the same and what you'll notice is that every time that it is in this position, this is always positive and this is always negative. So that tells you that at that point, at these points, at these points, the polarity here is always positive and the polarity here is always negative. So I think it is just logical to put a brush here because that brush will capture the positive here and this brush will capture the negative here making uh, giving you a polarity of positive negative between those two those two brushes okay so that's that's basically that's basically that's basically it yeah now uh, let's move instead of 90 degrees kasi yung sabi ko nga kapag 90 degrees magpapalit lang to ito punta siya dito this one will go here this one will go here what if we move by we just uh, 45 degrees so if we move by 45 degrees uh -huh. this one here will be here this one will be here this will be here and then this will be here like like this one so uh, <coughs> what I want to emphasize here is this one this is beyond the pole edges uh, I think 
I've mentioned this before in my earlier uh, previous videos. So if it's beyond the full edges, then you still have a velocity, but it is not under any magnetic field. You don't have a magnetic field here to induce a voltage. Therefore, between the induced voltage on the conductor at one prime is zero. The induced voltage at the conductor on one is zero. Same is for three prime and for three. That's why you have this. Now on two and two prime and four and four prime, you still have an induced voltage of E for each conductor. Therefore, you have two E. So, uh, so yeah, you have two E between two and two prime, four E between four and ah uh, two E between four and four prime. Uh, it's it's the same here. You have two E here, two E here. To e here to e here i guess the main difference is that uh when you move by 45 degrees uh your three and three prime and one and one prime becomes becomes zero okay now if we look at the voltage of the brushes if you look at the voltage of the brushes the voltage between this commutator and this commutator is 2e and it is parallel to another 2e hence the parallel paths so you now have you you have two parallel paths in this position uh, and each path has a voltage of 2e if you look at here what's interesting here is that uh oh, where is that okay this one you have 2e here you have 2e here between your brushes you have for E and same is for for this one you have for E but well you still have two parallel paths but in this position that is for E the voltage between the brushes in this position the voltage between the brushes is 2E then you move by 90 you again you have uh, for E and yeah this is what happens here yeah this is your voltage at 0 degrees then this is your voltage at 45 just 2e and then you go to 4e again once you move from 45 degrees and then another 45 degrees you go to 2e and so on and so forth so as you can see this is now a dc voltage this is now your dc voltage you have this flat uh areas here because of the curved poles if that's not curved therefore it's more sinusoidal okay so yeah, I guess I guess that's it. Uh-huh.